Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. In this particular session, we will uh, try to understand the complete counseling process for Neat PG 2021, starting from registration process or I could say the notification released by the counseling body until you getting the seat and paying the tuition fee, all the formalities. So we'll uh, discuss about all the rounds for all India quota 50% deemed universities central universities dnb uh, state level counseling process both for government as well as private colleges cps counseling process fcps counseling process and nb counseling process so all the courses where you can get admission into uh, through the counseling process we will discuss about it A step by step counseling procedure will discuss important facts important points that you need to keep in mind what scope available for admission and for government college what uh, scope dnb for private colleges what uh, scope are available and what uh, registration you can do and uh, can try for getting uh, private colleges and uh, what are the courses through uh, courses uh, through the counseling process you can get admission into we'll talk about that central level counseling process that that is a mcc counseling process a state level counseling process we will try to understand end to end procedure with uh, with the help of this chart and two years nb diploma counseling which uh, got uh, launched this year and this will be the first time it will be implemented fcps cps counseling process we will try to understand so if you are new to the channel first you subscribe the channel and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button and you can click on the bell button so that you get this uh, notification as soon as we post the video and you get benefited out of it we also provide paid counseling guidance and let it let me tell you paid counseling guidance it doesn't mean you ask me the question and we answer your question and that's it it's all about like owning the complete uh, counseling process on your behalf and we will do it it just uh, you need to have the uh, username and password and you need to follow each and everything and we will gu guide you through all the processes that i will discuss in this video so you can relate also where i can help you and uh, what benefit you can get out of it uh, there is very important question if you can do the counseling process then why to go for like paid counseling process or why to ask any kind of help see first of all you need to uh, define your scope uh, you got particular expected marks by now i think most of you have got the expected marks you got uh, an idea whether you are going to get your dream branches or expected branches in government if yes then what is the need of counseling services uh, it it can help you in getting the best possible government colleges and uh, those government colleges with your location preference government colleges where the stipend amount is maximum it can help you in the uh, government college counseling process coming to dnb in dnb it's a still very lengthy process the choice filling itself takes two days because you have got 500 plus hospitals and for each and every hospital there are multiple branches you are interested into so it becomes a lengthy option uh, and you need to do the choice filling so you need to know the order which hospital uh, has got what kind of ranking for particular branches considering all the factors like uh, uh, infrastructure and uh, machinery and uh, uh, faculties uh, stipend amount passing rate uh, surgical rate and uh, cutting chances those are all those things coming to uh, deemed university or private colleges first of all you need to figure out in particular budget uh, you're looking for particular branches for, for suppose pediatrics then which all state you want to go for so that you get a college with best quality uh, good stipend as well and uh, minimum tuition fee so how you can balance out between deemed universities and open states so these all information uh, as part of like uh, scope decision it will, it will be provided to you and uh, then you need to follow the same step uh, when it comes to the counseling process so that 85 percent the things are done uh, before you go for the normal counseling uh, go for the actual counseling process and you just need to follow the steps and uh, in particular round you will get the seats and do the formalities and then process stops there unless until you your seat allocated we won't be sitting uh, like with 
comfort in comfort zone it will we will, we will be like uh, anxious for you because we own the responsibility on your behalf to get the seat for you so that's uh, called paid counseling guidance now jumping to the main topic uh, giving background is very much important because each and everything that we try to uh, share with you in the video is just for your benefit only some of may feel that uh, i didn't jump to the topic directly so I, i'm sorry for the so, sorry for that and i apologize step by step counseling process see uh, it's very important slide first process is you will get notification see right now we are in the phase when the examination is done we are waiting for the result after the result is announced maybe by uh, this month end i keep getting many questions when the result will be announced so answering that question as for my experience my um, all the sources that this month end you should expect to get a uh, result or you can expect early result as well once the result is announced the next step you will receive a notification from mcc mcc is nothing but counseling authority to conduct the counseling process for all india quota 50% seats central universities and uh, deemed universities and this time dnb as well so you receive the notification for schedule you have the schedule for round 1 round 2 mop up round and stay vacancy round they may change the schedule depending on the progress for mop up round or something but they will have you uh, all the dates in that schedule so most importantly we need to know the first round schedule the first thing in the schedule will be the registration process you have registered for neat pg examination then you might be thinking some of them uh, what is the registration process we have already registered for neat pg examination so that is for examination and the registration portion done now you need to register for particular counseling process see you register for counseling process to the counseling authority you register in the neat pg examination to nb for registration you need to uh, pay registration charges which is uh, ranging between uh, like 1000 or 500 to 5000 maximum and uh, you need to pay security deposit for some of the states and deemed university also you need to pay so you need to know which states will ask you security deposit what documents you need to all the document that we asking depending on the states and the counseling authority Uh, they ask different set of documents they all got different website different application form so there is nothing to worry over this is just a normal form uh, you need to fill you already have experience of filling the application form for neat pg now coming to the next step once the registration is done based on the registration how many candidates applied for particular counseling process uh, your merit list will be created suppose you come from mp and uh, you didn't register for mp round 1 so your name won't be there in the merit list merit list gets created based on total registered and registered candidates and their rank basis they will create merit list for category and for general category as well so in general merit list what is your ranking and category what is your ranking it tells you a lot and uh, i'm missing one thing seat matrix seat matrix will also be published so that you can have an idea these many seats are there and how many seats are for obc sc st ews and uh, where you stand in the category uh, category rank so you can relate what is your chances if you have like very clear cut chance that uh, your rank is better than total number of seats then definitely will get seat and uh, if you not uh, then you have to go for next round or Uh, depending on the uh, how other candidates are choosing the options now coming to the next step, uh, step which is very important that's where all the logics all the uh, counseling help all the guidance will come into picture because here you just create a base by registration merit list seat matrix all you got but you haven't taken the real action so you need to do the choice filling here you are entering the choice age uh, is combination of college or hospital and branch it, it, it might be combination of like a category b category c category c is wherever it's applicable is uh, and you have two other options permitted and recognized seats so all things 
uh, you need to choose and uh, there is nothing to panic now that how these many options will be selected so the software will be designed in such a way that it's comfortable for you to select all the option and they will having uh, in the uh, bulletin or uh, the counseling brochure they will have some kind of steps given how to do the choice filling how to do registration with all the screenshots so you don't need to worry we are there to help you after your choice filling is done you double check it you keep a screenshot of it so that you have a proof that you had done it that way in case you want to claim in future that i had done it that way and other person got the seat i didn't get the seat so you have if something happens like that and for your reference as well choice locking choice locking is also an important step in some of the counseling process you don't have it as mandatory step so you don't take it granted that automatically the choice will be locked after the cut off date for choice filling is over for some of the states you have to lock it manually and after you lock it you don't you can't change it so that's very important i know many candidates are uh, couldn't get the seat due to the fact that they forgot to um, click on choice locking and they assume that they have done the choice filling but the choice filling was null and void because it didn't get saved in the system okay so that's also important next step after the choice filling it will take like couple of days depending on the counseling schedule and uh, your allotment will be published means your result will be published and you can see which uh, branch you got which college you got based on your based on your uh, choice filling and it's very important to know how the software works behind the scene to get you seat allocated allotment letter you can download the official allotment letter which is the proof that you got a seat and you can um, get the document verification done all with allotment letter you will have all the next steps mentioned there it will all vary um, depending to counseling process for mcc is different for other state counseling process is different for cps is different so uh, i'm not um, talking about is all generic steps and uh, so you download the allotment letter and then you need to have all the original documents ready so uh, keep all the original documents ready if you have uh, confusion what documents is required uh, then you can talk to us or you can see in the information bulletin joining formalities where you need to do the tuition fee payment there is another confusion that uh, the college will be asking more fee it's all very transparent as you have done the registration on a portal the tuition fee payment is also done through the payment uh, pay, uh, portal or uh, you, you do it in online mode or for some other counseling process they ask you to create a dd uh, enter the dd or through check or whichever way you like offline online both ways they provide and then original documents the same day you need to have with you all the original documents asked by you so the what documents will be asked they it will be mentioned over there in the notification where you get the allotment letter now once you have joined the college that's it is done now what option is available to you after joining the college also there is option to change the uh, college uh, change the branches in the same college or change both colleges and branches both that's called upgradation so you can depending on the counseling process you may be eligible to go for upgradation or you may not be able, eligible to go for upgradation so the next round will have all these um, processes it might have fresh registration for the round two or it might not have so you must uh, know these things which state has got fresh registration so that in case fresh registration is not available in round two or mop up then you have to register in the first round itself otherwise you will be just hoping that you will get a seat in a particular state but since you have been done the registration in first round you won't be able to proceed for that and you might lose the year so these are very important things that's why paid counseling comes into picture because we own the responsibility to tell you and uh, notify you that for this state you need to register in first round so that you have the options available for the next round also okay now coming to some important facts which are like uh, uh, random facts but it might be useful for you 
Karnataka is a state which allows choice filling in the first round and in sec second round onwards they just allow you to uh, shift your choices and they don't allow to add a new choice suppose there are x number of colleges and you enter x minus 3 colleges only in the first round i want to add remaining 3 in the second round that's not possible in karnataka maharashtra state allows choice filling in the first round only and you can't change it in the next round it will allow only for just upgradation and there is an option to stop upgradation if you are satisfied with the seat mcc first uh, round is free exit round it means you get a seat in uh, deemed university or uh, government colleges you are not uh, forced uh, it's not mandatory for you to join the college you can leave the college and uh, that's where the trick comes into play how you can do the parallel counseling because all the states counseling notification will be going on in parallel for all the open cities all the domicile states and you have to do multiple states counseling that's where also paid counseling guidance come into picture and helps you and get uh, save you from any kind of uh, security deposit for for getting forfeited i came to know from many candidates last year that they got 2 lakhs of security deposit forfeited in particular state in deemed university because they didn't cho choose the options uh, clearly and they chose the options which they didn't want to take and they got that option so they didn't join the college and they had to lose that security deposit some states uh, do not have free exit round so you need to be careful you must uh, take seat in the round 1 itself few states have got security deposit uh, so is very another important if you are planning for the budget don't just go for the tuition fee uh, you need to uh, see the security deposit for the colleges in the first year additional fee required so jo, don't just talk about the tuition fee uh, you need to also have information about if the tuition fee is like uh, uh, 15 lakhs and you have like 5 lakhs of security deposit then 20 and some miscellaneous charge 21 and then hostel charges 2 lakhs uh, 23 and some other uh, you keep back up of like 2 more lakhs so 25 you need to have ready in the first year so the budget uh, doesn't mean that only tuition fee you have to calculate the complete fee you need to pay in the first year otherwise you might be might be in problem uh, maybe feeling short short of money and for security deposit like 2 lakhs for deemed university 2 lakhs for particular state you need to have separate plan for that because those security deposit even you got the seat uh, it won't be refunded in uh, like a month of time it will take at least 6 months there are online rounds first second round uh, for some state mock up round is also online for others it mock up from around maybe offline it all depends on their because they have the authority to conduct the counseling based on their convenience they decided in offline round you need to visit a particular um, center and the, in that center the counseling gets conducted there is a stay vacancy round when all the offline and online round rounds are over by the counseling authority and the counseling authority says that i don't have any rounds but still some seats are vacant in particular college then those seats are filled by the college itself and the college conducts its own counseling round that also get published on their college website so it's very far story for now you for the knowledge sake you have that this in mind i will be creating separate video on those things whenever it's needed so uh, it's called institutional round or stay vacancy round this is the round when you have the option to get a seat in very low score also and uh, there is a negotiation that happens if the number of seat is more and the candidates uh, do not have the capacity to pay that much tuition fee in high paying high tuition fee colleges the video will be a bit lengthy but uh, i bet it will be very very useful for those candidates uh, who don't have any idea about the counseling process and for those who have got idea and the experience of previous year counseling still they will be getting in benefited because i am going to cover a lot of things in this video and already a lot of things are covered what is scope available for admission if you are going for government college then you have all india 50% quota through all india 50% quota you can get a seat in any state of india suppose you come from 
यू पी एंड यू वॉन्ट अ सिटी इन मध्य महाराष्ट्र यू नो दैट महाराष्ट्र इज ए क्लोज स्टेट बट स्टिल यू कैन गेट गवर्नमेंट सीट थ्रू ऑल इंडिया कोट ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट कॉलेजेज थ्रू स्टेट काउंसिलिंग प्रोसेस यू कैन गेट द सीट एंड यू कैन गेट द सीट इन सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी बी एच यू एंड दीज यूनिवर्सिटीज एफ एम सी एंड ऑल डी एन बी वंस यू गेट अ स्कोर एक्सपेक्टेड एंड यू सी दैट देर इज नो ऑप्शन टू गेट क्लिन कल इन गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज देन यू कैन ट्राई फॉर डी एन बी डी एन बी इज ऑल्सो वेरी इक्वेलेंट कोर्स कंपेयर टू एम डी एम एस एंड देर इज ओनली वन डिफरेंस दैट आई फील देर आर मेनी डिफरेंसेज बट देर इज वन ड्रॉबैक दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर लाइक टीचिंग फैकल्टी देन डोंट चूज डी एन बी स्टिल फॉर टीचिंग फैकल्टी इज नॉट अप्लीकेबल एंड outside india dnb is more recognized over mdms uh, you are not getting seat in government or dnb or not getting your dream branch then you can go for private colleges as well and for private what options available to you a lot of options available to you you just need to figure out where you your budget and dream branch and all things will fit uh, in the least possible uh tuition fee as well as the uh, average college or good college whichever you want to go for so you can go for like your state own state counseling uh, through own state counseling process you can get private colleges you can go for deemed in city uh, counseling process gets connected by mcc and then you can go for all open state private colleges uh, not 100% seats are available to you but uh, 20 to 30% approx seats will be available to you and that Uh, depending on the cut off rank and the tuition fee and whether you are getting your dream branch there or not you can decide which state to go and which state not to go uh, your location preference will also be a factor so you have um, around 12 open states where you can go for counseling process one deemed in city and then your own domicile for private colleges 12 plus to 14 options at least you have and still you are not going to get seat due to any reason budget issue or anything then you can have a chance for cps fcps uh, the cps fcps courses um, is like a dnb it's happening from uh, hospitals and then you have the first time getting launched nb diploma the tuition fee here is uh, just 1 lakhs as per the current update so you can see uh, the cut off will be same as government college because all eight branches are clinical branches and there those are like uh, um, very good options available for those who are not getting government colleges so don't expect that you are just qualified or like having a uh, not good good rank still you can get nb diploma because is getting launch first time it will have very good cut off as per my views now let's go through the charts available to uh, us in the, this video uh, course through uh, so i'm just trying to explain here what are the courses you can get admission into through neat pg counseling process so mdms that's most preferred then uh, you can have pg diploma the number of pg diploma seats are getting reduced every day and if you are looking to get a seat in low score uh, i would suggest you go for degree seat because um less number of seats are available in pg diploma and uh, they get close early to nb diploma first time is getting launched that will you can get you have dnb option cps and fcps options let us understand the central level counseling that is mcc counseling so mcc counseling what are the colleges uh, i already gave the overview uh, so all 50% all indicator of seats okay and you have uh, central universities amu du bhu afmc all these uh, and not 100% seats are um, are are available for uh, these uh, central universities from uh, in uh, mcc counseling uh, you can refer the uh, mcc bulletin they have clearly mentioned how many percentage of seats are available and i have also I mentioned in uh, my previous videos deemed university 100% seat and dnb 100% seat this time there is a change that dnb is getting collabed with uh, it, it nb used to conduct the separate counseling process this time nb will just conduct uh, diploma uh, counseling process and dnb is coming to mcc 
so uh, MCC is nothing but the counseling authority, is counseling body. Now counseling rounds starting from round one, round two, mock up round, and then uh, stay vacancy round. You can call it round four also. So round one and two, round one and two only for government colleges. There is no round three for government colleges. The leftover seat will be getting transferred to the uh, specific uh, or corresponding states. For central universities, you will have round one, round two, mock up round, and uh, there are fresh registration available in each and every round. So that's also a very good thing that you didn't register for deemed in first round. Uh, you were thinking that you will get in private colleges, but if you're not getting, then you can register in the second round and you can still go, to, uh, go for deemed university seat. Mop up round, and after mop up round, you have a stay vacancy round for deemed universities. And for central universities also stay vacancy round the all vacancies everything will be published on mcc website so have a um, watch on that website if you're using laptop then bookmark the url for dnb also first round second round mop-up round and uh, you have uh, offline round last time the offline round which was supposed to happen at the nb head office in delhi dwarka uh, it happened on, in online mode that's why we had kind of like a negative impact in the cutoff but this time we are expecting to get it happen through offline mode so you will be getting benefited those who are really interested will participate uh, talking about the state level counseling process is more similar compared to uh, MCC if you understand the MCC counseling process there is no hiccup that you can get here in a state level but you need to have a, a, a good knowledge about the rules and regulation because all the state counseling process they will have their own rules different counseling authority and uh, so if you assume something you might um, commit a, a, a big mistake so colleges remaining 50 percent uh, state government colleges and the co seats that will be coming back to the state counseling authority after round two mcc and 100% private colleges whether it's NRI quota, management quota or A category, B category, C category all the seats will be filled by the counseling authority of state and counseling authority is not a state counseling body they have got different names uh, for EP, EP, DGME and all like uh, for all the states they have different name okay types of states uh, there are open states and domicile states we already discussed and the rounds will be same as MCC round 1, round 2, round 3, round 4. There, is, there might be difference at the round uh, in, like for MP state you are not eligible to participate in round 1 and round 2 if you are from not from MP or haven't done MBBS from MP. So these are the rules and for some other states like you are not able to participate in round one but from round two onwards you can participate there are states where they don't have like uh, their quota and all nra quota management quota so you need to have all the understanding then only you can come to conclusion on your particular rank which state you should go for and thus where our counseling guidance and all the planning and strategy um, how you do design the counseling process will come into picture and it will help you so that you are on the way and uh, proceeding to get the optimum result through the counseling process now let's talk about two year nb diploma counseling process the fee is one lakhs per year the counseling authority will be nb and the courses are eight clinical branches so we won't talk much about it because it's first time even for us it's not much of information available to us fcps and cps counseling process see um, it happens from hospitals and a few government uh, colleges as well mostly hospitals like dnb counseling authority will be uh, cps and uh, cps mumbai or uh, depending on the states like gujarat Rajasthan used to conduct the counseling for their own CPS uh, last to last year in 2019. In 2020, there was no CPS in Rajasthan, and in 2021, also there is no CPS. Madhya Pradesh, uh, Gujarat, you have, and uh, Odisha, you have. So many states where you have the CPS. Courses available 
CPS. So here I'm particularly talking more on CPS Mumbai because there anybody can go and get admission. Even you are not qualified, still you are eligible to get some uh, non-recognized or even recognized branches depending on the availability. Courses two years diploma course and uh, three years FCPS uh, fellowship course. The round will be first round, second round, third round and fourth round and after second round other rounds will be kind of offline and uh, there's one demerit here you don't get the seat matrix so you have no idea how many seats are available and how many seats uh, were originally available and after round one how many seats are still available okay so i think the video was very lengthy but it uh, i hope it was very useful to you and uh, if you have any qu question then you can come back to us so thanks for watching and have a great day ahead